The first air facility in Yuma was constructed in 1928 for military and civilian use. On July 20th, 1962, the designation was formally changed to the present Marine Corps Air Station Yuma. Yuma continues to be the busiest Marine Corps Air Station in the Department of the Navy for air operations. With access to 2.8 million acres for bombing, aviation training ranges, and superb flying weather, Marine Corps Air Station Yuma supports 80% of the Corps' air-to-ground aviation training. On average, Marine pilots log more than 8,000 flight hours while conducting more than 5,000 flights each year. Chocolate Mountain Aerial Gunnery Range, located in Eastern California, and the Barry M. Goldwater Range, located seven miles southeast of Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, are managed and maintained by the air staff to ensure these bombing ranges are accessible for training operations 365 days a year. Nestled within five square miles, Marine Corps Air Station Yuma is home to Marine Corps Aircraft Group 13 and the distinguished Marine Aviation Weapons and Tactics Squadron 1. Recognized as the most comprehensive graduate level aviation course of instruction in the world today, Weapons and Tactics Instructor Course trains aviators, ground combat officers, and service support officers in advanced Marine Air Ground Task Force tactics, techniques, and procedures. Marine Corps Air Station Yuma hosts numerous events and aircrafts from U.S. and NATO forces throughout the year. Marine Corps Air Station Yuma contributes nearly half a billion dollars annually to the local economy through air operations, construction, civilian employment, and the annual Yuma Air Show and Open House. Marine Corps Air Station Yuma continues to preserve the natural habitat of Eastern California and Western Arizona. Through the use of photovoltaic systems, the base is producing more than 147,000 kilowatts per hour to offset energy use, as well as energy efficient buildings, advanced water conservation integration systems, Marine Corps Air Station Yuma continues to reduce its environmental footprint on the region.